One of them is the geography, and the other is the weather. Uh, we're using the, uh, the red, yellow, green stoplight charts that the military has such great affinity for. And as you can see, on night one of the operation, uh, we, were be we were able to complete every mission uh, without the impact of weather. But as the operation has continued, the weather has gotten more difficult uh, with each succeeding night, and we have had uh, instances where sorties were unable to complete their missions in their target areas because they were weathered out. To uh, show you the array of targets uh, which has been struck, uh, we started by attacking garrisons and the support structure uh, which support uh, these forces uh, in the field or in their garrisons and then subsequently have gone into attacks uh, on uh, deployed forces or forces in their uh, staging areas or on the staging areas themselves. The facility where they store uh, SA-6 missiles, this was attacked by uh, CALCOMs delivered by B-52s and you can see this storage and maintenance sheds and these storage and maintenance buildings here uh, have been damaged uh, or destroyed. Uh, it's a communications station uh, in uh, Kosovo itself, which is uh, fundamental to helping uh, command and control their forces. Here's an example of an army garrison in uh, Pristina. This especially, uh, these are barracks buildings here. This is the headquarters for the military police or, or the MUP, the ones that are primarily responsible for uh, a lot of the uh, killing in the cities, which occurred last summer and is occurring again. This is uh, one of the sustainment targets that I was talking about, the Leskovac uh, Army Barracks and Ammo Depot just outside of Kosovo, up in the uh, area south of Nish. We went after this with uh, NATO aircraft, and they have uh, these bunkers, which are ammunition storage, and when we attacked these, uh, they were successfully hit with large secondary explosions indicating uh, that large amounts of ammunition were destroyed. It is the facility where they conduct uh, repairs and maintenance of their fixed wing and helicopter aircraft as well as uh, support for manufacturing and uh, R&D. And you can see that uh, the damage here at this facility right here and these buildings over here in the yellow box. The, uh, the fact that the destruction is being done uh, by these forces this is uh, in north-central Kosovo, where some of the more intensive counterinsurgency operations occurred a week or so ago, and where we have now the reports of significant numbers of the population being moved out of their villages. And, uh, we saw uh, imagery that showed fires burning here. The next day, we see uh, all this smoke, uh, coupled with uh, other kind of reports that we're getting out of this area. Uh, leaves little doubt that the Serbian uh, police and military essentially destroyed this entire uh, area here. It's an awfully convenient way of saying what your mission is. I mean, what do you want the Serb forces to look like? It's an awfully convenient way of saying what your mission is. I mean, what do you want the Serb forces to look like?